So, Paul, when a, when a town, God forbid, gets taken off the map by a twister, yeah. you folks show up and take requests. <laughs> we celebrities will be there to jam, yes. Very nice. Uh, we're always uh, very excited when our old friend, uh, Super Dave, comes to visit us on the program. As you know, he is the uh, star of his own show on the Showtime Cable Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the greatest entertainer, daredevil, superstar of all time, Super Dave Osborne. I'm uh, giving some gifts uh, to promote my new book, oh. Super Dave Doggy Goodnight, uh -huh. and this is my pleasure to give oh, you Oh, you're giving me the dog? Oh, boy, this is a beauty. Hi, sweetie. What, what's the doggy's name? Super Dog. Super Dog. Boy, this is a beauty. And, and how old is he? Nine weeks. Oh, man, this is a cutie. Is and this is, what is this, a, uh, like... Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever. This is a, this yeah. is a, you know, but the truth of the matter is, it's been so long since I had a dog, and I'm, I'm always busy, I'm always traveling, I'm hardly ever at home, that I, I would never be able to take care of the dog or to, to walk it or or to feed it and you know well i've thought of that yeah thanks it's a lot for the uh for the present it's really great thank you very much uh, <laughs> oh, very nice it's nice of you a joke yeah. <laughs> oh thanks dave uh biff biff here can you take the dog thanks dave oh, really <laughs> yeah that's yeah. good thank you very much okay uh so let's talk about the book here this is uh Super Dave's Doggy Good Nights. Absolutely. Yeah, what's in that? Let's get a nice picture. Well, it's uh, beautiful stories for kids from uh, six months to six years. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that suit you wear, is that like a blend or is it... Is it, is it all cotton? Is it like 50-50? Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Oh, it's very nice. Uh, and what kind of stories are in here? Uh, are these stories well, that you have written or...? No, uh, what I did was, uh, I, I had people, as you know, I'm always looking out for the public welfare, right. and, I, and I asked people to send me stories uh, about dogs mm -hmm. that you could read to your kids, because right. a lot of people say, you know, when I put my kids to bed at night, sure. I don't really know what to say. Yeah. Some people can't make up stories. Sure. So I've got uh, maybe 45 adorable dog stories. And you collected them, compiled them, edited Absolutely. I guess, and did some illustrating here. Yeah. Do you have a favorite in this collection, Dave, of I the, sure uh, do. the doggy good nights? We had time, I'd love to yeah, read it. Yeah, if you have a little short one there, we can hear I'd love to hear it. I hope it doesn't put people to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we want them to watch the program. Uh, this is an adorable one. Uh, this is an adorable one, and... Uh, you're really going to love this. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, a guy walks into a bar. And he's with... <laughs> he walks into a bar with his dog, and he sits up on the bar stool, and his dog sits up on the stool next to him. And he says, uh, I'd like a vodka tonic, and my dog will have a light beer. <laughs> and the bartender says, look, pal... Take your dog off the bar stool, take your dog out, and go next door to Sam's bar if you want to have a dog down the stool. He said, but sir, this is a talking dog. He said, yeah, sure, it's a talking dog. And the dog said, I'll have a light beer. And the bartender said, look, if... <laughs> Don't lose your place. <laughs> no, come on, finish. Oh. Finish this story, Super Dave. <laughs> And the bartender said, look, if you're going to do a dumb ventriloquist act, just leave, will you please? The owner said, is that a ventriloquist... Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough word to read. Know. Uh, it's not a ventriloquist act. I'm going to go down to the men's room, lock myself in the men's room. Uh -huh. When I do, ask my dog what he would like to uh, drink. So the guy runs down and goes to... <laughs> the guy runs down to the men's room, lo locks himself in, and the bartender said, what do you want? And the dog said, I said I'd like a light beer. And the bartender said, my gosh, you can talk. Look, here's $10. Go across the street to Sam's bar, get up on the bar stool, order a light beer, spit it out, tell him you like ours better. <clears throat> so the dog shrugs his shoulders and leaves the bar. The owner comes out of the men's room and says, where's Rover? 
He said, I sent him across the street to do a practical joke. And the owner said, no, oh, I wish you hadn't done that. Anyway, the owner goes outside, <laughs> and lo and behold, he sees the dog in the middle of the street making love to another dog. Oh, man. Ooh. And he says, Rover, I've never seen you do that before. And the dog turns and said, I've never had $10 before. <laughs> They're all just that good, huh? Just adorable. Yeah, that's great. The kids will love this. Uh, now, I know every time you visit us, you have some kind of special project you're working on there at the big Super Dave stunt compound. Do you have something you can tell us about tonight? Well, uh, I was going to actually, as you know, I don't like to show things on the show, but I had prepared to tape... Uh, about three weeks ago, uh, with the help of Fuji Hagiito, my stunt coordinator. He's one of the best, isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, the best in the business. And uh, we were preparing to... We were preparing uh, Evander Holyfield for Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, but all that's changed. Tyson got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. And uh, so what uh, Fuji had developed was a whole computer system mm -hmm. where uh, I would be able to have, say, Tyson punch a heavy bag, mm -hmm. and it would register how he compared with the great champions. And I was trying to get him upset uh, over Tyson. Fuji had a Don King wig on, and uh, he had showed him a picture of Tyson as a kid fighting and everything else. Motivational training. Yeah, so now we're going to have to redo it and prepare for Buster Douglas. Did, now, do you have any of the, the, the tape anyway of the earlier? No, I don't. I, I didn't bring it. Well, what was that I saw him coming? Uh, because I was told that there is some videotape they of some kind of boxing. Morning, do we have no, the tape? No, I, I don't want to show this to that. Let me find it. Let me find it. I understand you need to reprogram it. Yes, and we had a well, problem with anyway. one of these uh, pieces of equipment. That's all right. Let's take a look. Well, Here we go. There's a Super Dave Osborne back there at the stunt compound in, uh, where is it, Arizona? Concentrate. <laughs> work on it. Left, right, left, right. Great, 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 great. Keep it going. All right, all right. Back off, back off. That's enough. Look at this. Look at this. You're going, you're going. Keep it going. Keep the energy up. All right, this is just a computer. It's a life size. It's a punch in that. The only thing I want here is one right hand. Go down, deliver a right. Go ahead. You got one shot and go for it. Down and go for it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Look at this rocking Marcy. Rocky, Marcy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's keep it up. Keep the energy up. Now you're going. This is block a punch, all right? You're going to bob. You're going to weep. One punch is going to be thrown. Oh. How many times do I have to apologize to this man? We come in here, and my band is gone. Then you show us a tape of an eight-year-old Mike Tyson. Then you take off your hat, and you have that stupid Don King wig on. And now, I don't know how much this costs. You've put two right gloves. Look at that. Don't worry. It would work. It's not going to work. It would work. The book is uh, Super Dave's Doggy Goodnight. This is a treasure, Dave. It's a great book. Yeah. And as always, it's a pleasure to see you. Come back anytime. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest entertainer.